Okay, so Mets down one, bottom of the fifth, and John Nagowski, not to be confused with Mike Wazowski, lines one straight to Pete Alonso. Alonso makes an easy play and is thinking to himself how he's made more money from home run derbies than his actual Mets contract. But then something breaks out between Stroman and Wazowski, I mean Nagowski. If there's one thing the Pirates are consistent with is even if their team sucks, they always have the most bench clears. So it gets a bit crazy and it's really just McCann trying to get in there. Nagowski is outside of the pile and so is Stroman at this point. Half the people are smiling and the other half are like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I get to see field time during a game. Eventually, the bullpen get their daily exercise and meet them in the middle, spectacularly late to everything. So what happened? Well, after the lineout, Strowman celebrated emphatically like he's always done in his career, and it's a coin flip if the other team gets offended or not. In this case, Nagowski got offended, which triggered Strowman to charge him, but uses his hold me back guy as a buffer. Reminds me of this clip. Why, yeah, you oughta let me at him, let me at him! Here, hold me back. Okay! So, after Strowman's celebration, Nagowski is pissed, so he tells Strowman to keep talking shit, and that Strowman got effing lucky on that pitch. Strowman then responds by asking, Who's talking shit to you? Shut the F up, man. And now both of their egos are bruised, so they have to pretend to act physical about it, and so Strowman starts the proceedings by rushing at Nagowski. After the dust clears, though, we see Noah Syndergaard in a sick hairdo shepherding Strowman and keeping him calm. Strowman then puts his hands on his knees and is like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh wait, I'm not fine, not fine, not fine at all, and just books it to the dugout. He most likely had to throw up even before this scuffle, but the adrenaline just kept him there. Gotta love it when your bathroom break is rudely interrupted by a bench clearing event. So, the rest of the people have a nice chat and go back to their dugouts and live happily ever after. The end.